Here's the story of a team of students who all worked hard to bring you UVTV. They were all at Blick working all together, and then the virus came. It's the story of dedicated Bengals who were part due to COVID-19. They had a mission to create a new show, but they were not allowed at school. Now this year, Miss Emery and Miss Wilbur pulled us together to produce our show for you. Despite our distance from all our Bengal family, we're excited to bring you UBTV, the UB Bunch, the UB Bunch. Get ready for you. What's up, Blake? Welcome back to UBTV. Today is Tuesday, April 19th. I'm Addison. And I'm Kandwani. And we're your anchors for today's edition of UBTV. This week is a normal week with an A synchronous day on Wednesday. Use this day to complete work to start the fourth quarter off great. Congratulations to everyone for making it to the last quarter of the school year. Seniors, you only have 29 days of school left. Let's finish strong, Bengals. Now here's Camden with the weather. I last so the sun. You're welcome to stretch your days. What's up, Blake? It's Camden here with your UB weather for the rest of the week. Today will be sunny with a high of 74 and a low of 55. Tomorrow will be stormy with a high of 64 and a low of 35. On Thursday, it will be cloudy with a high of 55 and a low of 39. On Friday, it will be sunny with a high of 65 and a low of 43. Stay twinning, and we'll see you Friday with more weather on UBTV. This Saturday is the National Day of Silence. The Day of Silence is a campaign that seeks to shed light on what many LGBTQ youth experience daily. Every year, millions participate by staying silent for the duration of the day, representing the silencing of LGBTQ students. Please show your support to our Blake students, members of Allies for Equality, as they participate in this important day. Attention Class of 2021, senior activities were just announced. On May 5th, there will be a virtual senior parent meeting at 7 p.m. On May 20th, the senior recognition ceremony will be at 7 p.m., but whether it will be virtual or in-person is to be determined. Senior activity day is also to be determined, and May 28th will be senior cap and gown distribution. Graduation will be on June 11th at 9 a.m. at the Blake Stadium Field. Last Saturday, Blake's It's Academic team beat both Whitman and Landon with a perfect score. They are now moving on to the D.C. area finals. Congratulations, Olivia, Theo, and Peter on your victory. The NEC SGA presents NEC Spirit Week next week. Monday will be Sports Day, Tuesday is Earth Day, Wednesday is Vacation Day, Thursday is Character Day, and Friday is Rep Your School Day. Post your submissions on social media and tag your class council page to show your school spirit. The winning school will receive a trophy as a prize. The Blake PTSA is holding a book sale starting this Saturday, April 17th. It will run through Sunday, May 2nd. You can find the book sale at the address below. On the weekdays, they are open from 5 to 8 p.m. On Saturdays, they are open from 10 to 6 p.m. And on Sundays, it's noon to 5 p.m. Looking for a new book to read? The Media Center is offering contactless browsing through the online library catalog. With holds to go, you can place books on hold and have them delivered to your classroom, or you can pick them up from school if you are virtual. You can do the browsing and reserving on the Media Center website linked below.
Juniors and seniors are invited to register for the Summer Rise 2021 program, a four-week, 40-hour career-based learning experience that introduces students to career options that match their interests. Student registration opens at 8 a.m. on Thursday, April 15th and will close at 5 p.m. on Monday, April 26th. For more information about this program and registration, check out the MCPS website. During the summer, the Office of Admissions will be hosting the Diversity Immersive Visitation Experience, known as DIVE, from July 13th to July 15th, 2021, in a virtual setting. All current juniors and sophomores are encouraged to sign up. For more information, visit the Minority Scholars Program's Instagram. Also, be sure to check out the Blake Aces essay writing session tomorrow. It will run from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. This week's essay topic is Saving the World. Check the ACES Google Classroom for the meeting link. Let the world dream otherwise. We wear the mask. And hast thou slain the Jabberwock? Come to my arms, my beamish boy. Oh, frabjous day. Kaloo, kaloo. To drive free, to love free, to dash reckless and dangerous. I should have been a pair of ragged claws scuttling across the floors of silence. Our poet for today is Emily Dickinson. Dickinson was born in 1830 in Hamhurst, Massachusetts. After her death in 1886, her 1800 plus poems were found by her sister and published to the public. She became an icon in literature and writing after she died because how she wrote not only about problems in society, but her beliefs on love, family, death, and nature. She is most famous for her pognate and compressed ways of writing, which influenced the direction of 20th century poetry. If any students are still interested, we highly recommend you submit videos to ubtvlive321 at gmail.com of you reciting your own poetry samples to be broadcasted in the show. Remember, the deadline is still this Friday, April 23rd, so hurry. Today's word of the day is scrupulous, meaning paying great attention to detail. An example of this would be, my teacher is a scrupulous proofreader and never misses an error. On this day in history in 1912, the Fenway Park opened for the first time. The Boston Red Sox played against the New York Highlanders with 27,000 fans in attendance. The Boston Red Sox still play at Fenway Park to this day, as it is the oldest MLB stadium still being used it's famous for its tall green fence in the left field known as the Green Monster. Today's show review is Formula One Drive to Survive. The first season was released following the end of the 2018 Formula One season and is available to watch on Netflix and is rated TVMA. The show goes behind the scenes of Formula One, giving a look into racing that many have not seen before. Camera crews are sent into garages to allow fans to see more than ever and to see drivers' personalities flourish. Giving consideration for how many new Formula One fans the series has created and its near unanimous love from Formula One fans, I have to give this show a 9 out of 10. It's a viewing experience everyone will enjoy. At this moment, there are no athletic events scheduled to take place this week, as spring sports just started up last Saturday. Keep an eye out for upcoming matches and meets for lacrosse, softball, baseball, and track. In varsity football, Blake defeated Northwood in an impressive senior night game on Friday, 50-0. Bengal touchdowns were scored by Drankwan Smith, David Atabari, Makaja Cobbs, Antoine Morris, and Quavon Atkins. The girls' varsity volleyball team fell to Blair during their Friday night game 3-1. Varsity field hockey also fell to Blair Friday night 7-0, finishing out their season with a 5-1 record. Attention students, spring sports tryouts are still going on. If you have registered to try out for a spring sport, check your sports canvas page for schedules, the daily check-in link, and any other available information.
Today is National Lookalike Day. This day was created as a fun way to look like another person. You can celebrate by dressing up as someone you'd see today or a celebrity you'd like to impersonate. Make your hair look like theirs and speak like them all day. Thanks, Cole. And don't forget, next week is NEC Spirit Week. Get your gear ready so that Blake can own Paint Branch and Springbrook. Next Monday is Sports Day, and Tuesday is Earth Day. Wednesday is Sunglasses Hawaiian Day. Thursday is Character Day. And Friday is Raptor School Day. Get ready. Blake has to come out on top. We'll have details for you on Friday's show about how to participate next week. We'll see you then. On UB TV. TV.